Welcome back guys. Now let's discuss about tongue. Now in tongue, we have to discuss about different types of nerve innervations. We have to see what are the motor supply for the tongue, what is the motor innervation and also we have to see the sensory innervation or the sensory supply. Now having said that, see there are two different types of sensations which are going from the tongue. One is general sensation that is touch pain temperature from the tongue is going to the central nervous system. Not only just the touch pain temperature but from the tongue special sensations are also going. So what is the general somatic supply? Okay, somatosensory supply we have to see also with that we have to see about the special special innovation. Okay, what is that special sensory supply? First now on one half of the tongue, please concentrate here on this side. I am talking about the motor supply. Okay, so which nerve, okay, which nerve is controlling all the muscles in the tongue? All the muscles in the tongue, okay, both including extrinsic muscles as well as the intrinsic muscles. Both intrinsic as well as extrinsic muscles are innervated by the 12th cranial nerve. Okay, what is the 12th cranial nerve? Hypoglossal nerve. So, hypoglossal nerve, the 12th cranial nerve, it controls all the muscles except one muscle which is called as the palatoglossus. Okay, this palatoglossus muscle is innervated by the vago accessory complex. Okay, there is something like vago accessory, vagus nerve and accessory nerve. Okay, they will form a plexus. So, that is called as a vago accessory complex is going to innervate the palatoglossus but rest all the muscles in the tongue, okay, intrinsic and extrinsic muscles of the tongue are innervated by the 12th cranial nerve. So, because of this 12th cranial nerve, hypoglossal nerve, you are able to move your tongue, okay. So, tongue movements because of 12th cranial nerve, this is a motor supply. Now, let's talk about the sensory supply. We have divided the sensations into how many types? Just general sensations, the touch pain temperature as well as the special sensation that is a taste. Now, let's divide the tongue into three regions. Okay, the anterior two-third, posterior one-third and the base of the tongue. Okay, we are dividing the tongue into three regions, anterior two-third, posterior one-third and the base of the tongue. Okay, which will be somewhere over here, it is called the base of the tongue. Okay, now see, first let's talk about the general sensation, general sensations. See, general sensations like touch pain temperature from the anterior two-third of the tongue. See, from all this blue area. See, now if someone comes and touches your tongue, okay, you can feel the touch, right? Okay, if someone comes and like put some hot object into your tongue, like you know, you can feel the temperature also from tongue, you can feel the temperature. So, touch pain temperature are carried from the tongue from anterior two-third region. This touch pain temperature sensations are carried by the fifth cranial nerve, trigeminal nerve. Okay, see lingual nerve is a branch of trigeminal nerve. So, touch pain temperature from the anterior two-third of the tongue are carried by the trigeminal nerve. Okay, then who will carry touch pain temperature from the posterior one-third of the tongue? From this posterior one-third of the tongue, touch pain temperature are carried by, okay, ninth cranial nerve. So, what is the ninth cranial nerve? Glossopharyngeal nerve. Okay, ninth cranial nerve carry touch pain temperature from the posterior one-third of the tongue. Okay, now, See from the base of this tongue, okay, from this area, okay, from the base of the tongue, the same touch pain temperature, general somatic sensations. Now, the general somatic sensations from the base of the tongue are carried by 10th cranial nerve. So, now tell me, touch pain temperature from the tongue are carried by how many cranial nerves? Three cranial nerves. What are they? From anterior two third of the tongue, it is cranial nerve. From the posterior one third of the tongue, it is ninth cranial nerve. And from the base of the tongue, it is 10th cranial nerve. So, fifth, ninth, and 10th cranial nerves, five, nine, 10th cranial nerves carries the general somatic sensations that is the touch pain temperature. Okay, now let's talk about the special sensation. What is the special sensation? It's a taste. So, taste sensation from the anterior two-third of the tongue is carried by the seventh cranial nerve. Okay, seventh cranial nerve. What is the branch of seventh cranial nerve? Cauda tympani. So, cauda tympani is a branch of facial nerve. It will come to your tongue. Okay, it will take the touch pain temperature from which part of the tongue? From the anterior two-third of the tongue. From the anterior two-third of the tongue, touch from the anterior two-third of the tongue, the taste sensation, the taste sensation from the anterior two-third of the tongue is carried by the Cauda tympani branch of seventh cranial nerve. Now, from here it is easy. See, from the posterior one third of the tongue, touch pain temperature. See, touch pain temperature are carried by ninth cranial nerve. Not only touch pain temperature, but also taste. See, even taste information, even this taste is going via the ninth cranial nerve. So, ninth cranial nerve, it do have somatic sensory fibers. Okay, so, somatic sensation, like you know, general somatic sensory fibers. The neurons are carrying the Touch pain temperature 
as well as the taste in neurons and neurons which are carrying this taste information is also there inside the ninth cranial now okay inside the ninth cranial now both touch point temperature are going as well as the taste information is going to the central nervous system in the same from the base of the tongue yes touch point temperature is carried by the vagus now 10th cranial now okay not only that from the base of the tongue even taste taste information is going via the 10th cranial now so who will take this special sensation taste sensation so taste sensation from the anterior two third of the tongue is carried by the 7th cranial now but from the posterior one third of the tongue and base of the tongue it is carried by 9th and 10th cranial nerves so we can simply say 9th and 10th cranial nerves carry both the touch pain temperature as well as taste okay both touch pain temperature as well as taste are carried by the 9th and 10th cranial nerves okay only difference in the anterior two third in the anterior two third touch pain temperature are carried by the 5th cranial nerve taste is carried by the 7th cranial nerve okay that's the difference now we'll get down sir let's talk about the we are talking about the sensory nervous system right sensations right now this taste information okay this taste information from the tongue is going to which part of the central nervous system now please look at here guys see here 7th cranial nerve from the anterior two third of the tongue 9th cranial nerve and 10th cranial nerve these cranial nerves they are taking the taste fiber see taste information is going where now the taste information is going into the central nervous system see there is this one area which is called as the nucleus of tractus solitarius in the middle okay in the nucleus of tractus solitarius actually it is there in the middle okay here in this image it was little shown in the bonds but anyway the nucleus of tractus solitarius is going to receive the taste neurons now this nucleus of tractus solitarius is considered as a taste integration center these first order neurons they are coming to the nucleus of tractus solitarius now from the nucleus of tractus solitarius the neurons are going to thalamus see these neurons they are now getting projected to the thalamus now these neurons are going to terminate in the thalamus so the which nucleus which nucleus of thalamus see these neurons from the nucleus of tractus solitarius they are going to ventro posterior medial nucleus okay remember most of the general sensations okay touch pain temperature even these sensations are coming to the thalamus but the touch pain temperature pressure these sensations are coming to the ventro posterior lateral nucleus of thalamus but right now i am discussing about the taste now this taste fibers now they are coming to the nucleus of tractus solitarius from here the second order neurons are starting now the second order neurons they will go to the thalamic nuclei which thalamic nuclei they will go to the ventro posterior medial nucleus okay ventro posterior medial nucleus from this ventro posterior medial nucleus now the third order neurons they will start and they will go to the cortex why because cortex is the place where you will feel all the sensations now say this fiber this third order neuron where it is going it is going to the cortex question is now is it going to which cortex is it going to somatosensory cortex no touch pain temperatures will go to the somatosensory cortex area number 312 post central gyrus okay but this is a special sensation right so now this special sensation now it is going to this cortex which is present inside this cortex see here is there is cortex which is present deep inside the lobe which is called as the insular cortex okay this is the insular cortex so all the taste fibers are going to the insular cortex okay so what is the taste integration center in the middle the taste integration center in the middle is the nucleus of tractus solitarius this one we have discussed what is the thalamic nuclei receiving the taste thalamic nuclei which is receiving the taste is ventro posterior medial nucleus not the vpl it is a vpm ventro posterior medial nucleus what is taste cortex taste cortex is not the somatosensory cortex okay somatosensory cortex is receiving the touch pain temperature information now here you are having this cortex which is present deep inside the brain this cortex is called as the insular cortex it receives the taste fibers so taste cortex is insular cortex now see what are the different types of taste there are different types of taste like you know sour taste sweet bitter okay all these are the different types of taste there was this newly discovered taste which is called as a umami taste this umami taste is a newly discovered taste Uh, which was especially seen with the chinese uh, like you know chinese foods like you know in the chinese food they used to put something like you know ajinomoto chinese salt will be there now that chinese salt is having this one chemical called as monosodium glutamate now this monosodium glutamate is the one responsible for this chemical this monosodium glutamate is going to act on taste buds now this monosodium glutamate will cause this special taste called as umami taste okay so monosodium glutamate cause umami taste so with this we have discussed the taste pathway hope the video is helpful thank you